So when I was 15, my dad got really sick and he stopped walking and he's in a wheelchair now. And a couple weeks later, my mom was diagnosed with cancer and went through chemotherapy. So uh, I couldn't imagine living through that experience in a place uh, other than Canada where we have so much access to medicine and medical care. Um, so it really made me think about the world and, and how things work in other places. I discovered that one in four people don't have any access to medicine at all in the world. And so I became interested in HPIC, uh, a registered charity that increases access to medicine uh, for people who live in rural areas and, and don't have it. HPIC sends medicine to over 50 countries every year by collecting donated pharmaceuticals from manufacturers and um, boxing it up to send with humanitarians on an airplane when they go to do medical missions work. So the volunteers come to the office and they, they have an orientation. They learn more about HPIC and the work they're doing internationally. And then they get to work. They put medicine into the boxes. Uh, they make sure the right medicine goes in and they know that uh, it's going to be used across the world to help people who have no medicine uh, to, to make them well. I like to volunteer because it feels so good to be able to give back to our community knowing that we're packing medical supplies to send in other countries uh, just make me feel so happy to do that. They don't put any packing product into the boxes to keep the medicine safe because you can't throw it away in many countries. So instead they use Easy Dolls, which volunteers knit and send them in and then they can be given out to kids uh, who come to clinics and who aren't feeling so well. I'm from Ghana and um, it's just exciting to know that HPIC is helping um, vulnerable communities in the developing world, um, making lives easier for people that cannot afford um, basic medication. And, and that's what I love about um, HPIC's work in the developing country. So this is a little boy, he's 15 in the picture, but he looks a lot younger because he has cancer. Uh, so he was sent some medicine and here he is two years later completely cancer free. This is Solkin. He was very sick and nothing seemed to work. None of the medicine worked. Uh, but the final medicine that was sent to him cleared his infection and he got to go home. We're very fortunate here in Canada. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've been in parts of the world where I see you know, in war struck countries and developing nations where people are not as fortunate as we are. So it's my way of trying to give back uh, in a way to this planet, to us as far as humanity. Uh, through my company, I get an opportunity to volunteer through different programs and I've always done that every year. Uh, this is my second time here at Edgepake and I really enjoyed it the last time I was here. We actually had a lot of fun. It was great for team building exercises as well. And you know, just knowing that you're doing something for a better cause for, for humanity, really not just for Canada. This little girl had her leg broken for months and months and no one was able to set it because there was no one there. Um, so she went to a medical missions team and they were able to set her broken leg and give her antibiotics. So this little girl is two years old in the picture and she's never been able to walk because of a hip condition she was born with. Um, so she had surgery uh, with some medicine sent to her and she is now able to walk. Putting medicine in a box is something so small, but it has such a big impact. And it just gives you purpose knowing that um, what you're doing is helping so many people. So I'm grateful to be part of it. Mm -hmm.